Alright, wait, 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 how is it with everybody? I'm real sleepy, I'm real tired, who has been whole day, but you see something, this calculator here. We need to talk about this, first thing first, I need to make sure everybody see the calculator good, and they see it relatively good. Now, I also have the sharp calculator. I have the sharp, I have this one, which is on the screen, and I have the sharp. Right? Yeah, O, o S J A Stefan, Jonathan, Sharida, Makila, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Makila where you going? Akisia, Amasha, Jada, Stefan. Let's turn off this alert box there. Alright, so there this is the traditional calculator from last year, which it is one of the more powerful chaps to match this price of Casio. But I'm saying that the Casio is a bit better. A bit better and I'll I'll, I'll prove it to you tonight. This Casio is what a lot of people have. Uh, let me see how many people have the Casio. How many people have the Casio? And how many people have the Sharp? Write the name of the calculator that you have. Write the name of the calculator that you use in the... In... Hey. Catch my case of the better. Right. That you use in the... I'm going on this blue screen, right? Sharp, Casio, Sharp. Sharp, 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 Sharp. Casio, 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 Sharp. I ain't seen no other names. Any HP? Any HP? Any join us? What the hell is join us, boy? <laughs> um, sharp, I have a Casio. Y'all, we go. Um, just, just take a screenshot of this live screen. I'm going to start the official thing. Just showing stuff in about maybe 30 seconds. I'm going to take a snapshot and show it on Instagram. Get more people on the live. We have 186 people already. What I'm about to show you is going to change your life. Right, and I'll come in and clutch for your exam. I'll show you how to use the Casio, and I'll mention stuff on the shop as well. But y'all may not know this, but I already have a whole tutorial, six or seven videos on the shop already. So even if people who are sticking with the shop, there's something for you. But I mean, the Casio can do some more stuff, right? Um, what I'm going to do here, boy? I'm going to fix this. So take a screenshot. Show it on your Instagram story. Let them know we have a session going on tonight. Oh, press like on the video. That's the next thing that will help. Like, press like on the video. Um, and what else you can do, boy? Subscribe if you ain't subscribe yet. Um, yeah, what are we doing now? Fixing this with this thing here, we Organize yourself now, Bridget. You know, you was running good last time. Do, do what you're supposed to do. All right, then. All right. All right, so let's start on the shop. So what I'm showing you here. It's going to change your life, eh? Alright, so let me use the January 2019 exam. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, so I'll start off with the maths. And hopefully I'll get to go to the ad maths. And maybe I might get to go to pure maths as well. But I guess some of the things that you can do in ad maths, integration, differentiation, stuff. Um, co um, complex numbers, vectors. It will transfer into pure maths, right? I'm going to read what these people are saying. So, when you're making physics ad maths. I make a whole crash course on AdMats. If you want inside the crash course, let me know. I you can get a review of the crash course. That's private. I'm doing physics later this week. I might go live. I might do an all night or something. We're doing physics, right? So on what days you just go live? What days you just go live? And I, when I'm feeling cute, I just go. <laughs> I just go live. All right, pure maths. Yo, so you sure this calculator would be allowed in the exam? Um, well, I'm a hundred percent sure for every exam from now. Back to like about 2010, hundreds, thousands of students have already used this calculator for exam. I did, I've done surveys. This calculator and this calculator. I did this the calculator last year. And students were asking me the same thing. Say, so yeah, sure. They're so not accustomed seeing all the different things that the calculator could do. They were amazed and like, sir, I can't believe the calculator could do matrices. I cannot believe the calculator could do this, could do that. You sure you can do that in the exam? Well, it's on your calculator, right? Now, CXC has this rule that says non-programmable. They said non-programmable scientific calculator, which is kind of vague because, I mean, once a calculator can store memory like M, and almost every calculator, any whole wide will have an M, you know, you can bring up answer. That means you start down the road of programmable already. But I think the limit they would draw it at, I know people will get rejected for calculator that join graphs and working out entire questions and things like that, just 
kwa kina wali kwa siya njeso ya type ni kwa siya ngu kitao na 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 ya na wole tapa na mkai na calculators but the aim of cx is not to test how fast you could multiply numbers and add numbers and do sign and thing the aim of cx is to test the reasoning there's the kcr reasoning comprehension knowledge uh use of knowledge right so it's like the calculator is a tool it's still here the testing right but i'm going to show you how best to use your tool how best to use your tool and now uh, there are students on my instagram lots of them would use this very same calculator in january so you could go with that now when i'm about to show you what i'm about to show you i'm pretty sure cxc invigilator is an examiner so watch this and be like boys we had a talk we had a talk look what this calculator could do boys we had a talk um but uh, if, if they are watching this, if you are watching this, Mr. CXC, I think you should allow the calculators to run because they have been running for decades and people have been using them for decades. Why stop? And also, the exam is set in such a way that you can't survive on calculator alone. The calculator is a tool. It's a tool. All right. I'm looking for a pass paper here to just pull on. So we could just, I'll, I'll run through the 2019 pass paper just showing you um, stuff from that and I'll expand on that. Um, I'm not doing the whole pass paper, I just using the calculator, showing you how the, ca how the calculator is. Let me see some whys in the chat before they're making out the calculator. I mean, you have the calculator home, so you'll get to see what I'm pressing, when I'm pressing. Let me see some whys in the chat if you're making out the calculator there. Um, like if I press shift, you're seeing that. Seeing me press on, back again. Yeah, some whys, right, right. So we're making out the calculator, we can work with that. Alright, so I just give me a, a two seconds to just snap up this. Okay, the first thing I think people want to do is know how to use the calculator to convert binary numbers to decimals. Alright, I'll be more than saying, damn, this calculator, I need this. I need this. If you need the calculator, you can call the number in the description. Right, so you can convert, yes, you are seeing right here, this, right here in green, there's DEC, that's decimals, ATX, that's hexadecimal, BIN, that's binary, and OCT that's base 8, right? Oct or something, I forget, right? Base 8, right? Um, yes, you can convert between those bases on the calculator, right? So the number in the description, the guy, I think, um, that, that deal is selling for 275, um, which is like best for Trinidadians because if you order it down, it's come, it's come up over 100. So binary numbers easy, but if you have a big one, if you have a big number to do, you can sometimes run it a little mystic. So it's good to have the calculator to check it, check it out for you. All right, let me see. All right. Um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to snap my picture here for the longest one. All right, I'll, I'll just write for this one. I'll just write for this one. Because, you know, like say we have to convert 6 in base 2. That was the question in January to base 10, right? Base 10. On the calculator. You press mode, big up all the school crews, big up the bishop, the, the, the Tobago bishop crew, big up the pre sal crew, big up every crew. You press mode. So you'll see when I press mode what happened there. We see in um, computation mode, complex numbers. You can do all this stuff in complex numbers. Pure math students, if you're watching this, everything in complex numbers. You can do statistics. You can do lots of stuff in statistics. Um... I guess we'll go into that soon. I'll show you how some of the six stuff we can do in statistics. Um, base n, you seen base n? That is what we want. Base n. So it's four. When you see four and you see that like that, you mean we must press four? Yeah, yeah, the press four. Bam! It's select there. So right now the default is decimals. I can change it to hex to binary to base eight. I can change right hex is base sixteen. But I guess the two you are custom please decimals and binary. And I'm not too sure how to get the other bases. I don't know if you can get other bases in this. Um I'm fiddling I'm wrong and reach that far. And maybe you could get it if you uh, do this recall button here. Mm -hmm. Nah, I don't think you I don't think you could get it. So so right now we, we're dealing with with base. They want us the question wants us to convert from six here in Oh, sorry, it was 6 and base. The question wanted us to convert from 6 and base 10 to the base 2 number, right? The question wanted us to convert from 6 and base 10 to the base 2 number. 
Now, can the sharp do bases? I don't think so. Yeah, the sharp can do bases. The sharp can do bases as well. And you'll be doing the same. You'll be, you'll be looking at the multiply, divide, plus, negative, but no second function. And you press that and you'll, you'll see there the sharp, 3 or 6. Not the lame sharp, eh? the better sharp. The, the 3 or 6, the EL506, sorry, 506X can do bases as well. All right, let me do it now. We're talking, we're talking plenty here. So 6, 6 in base 10, press equal, bam. That is 6 in base 10, DEC mean decimal base 10. Boom, you press binary. That's the answer. That's the answer. You know, collect your one mark. For the, imagine, imagine if somebody watching this now, <laughs> and I know there may be some people watching this now, who have this calculator, did Jan exams, watch that question, and leave out that question. Because, like, what? How are we going to do that? And you can just press it in your calculator with a couple of buttons. So, I could get 6 from base 10, converting to... Yeah, most of the things on the arm, because you can do it on the sharp, you can do the matrices, so you can do the matrices. Right. So, you see Zelina? <laughs> right. You can just use this calculator and get that. Um, let's have some more fun with it. Let's say we are in base. Let's say we started off in binary and they want us to convert maybe, maybe, let's say they want us to convert, right? Let's say they want us to convert this number. They want us to convert that number to base 10, back to base 10. It's in binary and they want us to convert it back to base 10. Now, for those of y'all, I went through how to do that, manual, how to do that the max way and using 2 to the base, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1 and you're going up the road like that. But if you don't want to do all of that or if you want to double check your work, you just type it in man, you just type it in. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Equal, it's in binary now. I pressed equal and now I can just press decimal. Boom and it tell me the answer, 290. 219 is the decimal base 10 for 11011011 base 2. I guess you all, I guess you all catch the idea of that. Let me see here some wise in the chat if you good with bases there. You see how we could use bases for decimals for, for um, the decimal system. The I keep saying decimal. I don't mean decimal point. I mean base 10 uh, for binary and stuff like that. Good. So you could go and play around with that and have that in your back pocket. You had that done. Okay, what next? Standard deviation. <laughs> do you know this computer can do some standard deviation? Yes, so let me do some standard deviation. Press on. Right now we're still in this base mode. Now, I don't think this calculator have a reset button. So if you're going in some weird mode and you don't know what you do, you can press mode and go back to 1. That's the normal mode, right? That's the normal mode. On, 1, mode, 1. Right? And you'll see this D here, there's a D up here. Why is it looking like an M on, this, on your screen? In my screen, is a D, right? This D and there's math showing up here. D stands for degree, of course. If you want to change between degrees and whatever, you just press, um, I think it's setup, shift, setup, and you can see like which 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 thing you're in. Obviously, at math people don't want to stay in radians for most of the times, but math people definitely stick to degrees, my brother. Stick to degrees. Alright, so I lost. What do you mean you lost? Go over what? What what are you meant to go over the base? Go over the bases again? Go over the bases. I don't think I need to go over the bases. I explained that pretty well. You can just watch over the video when it come up. For those who just jump in, I feel like some people who just jump in. If you just jump in, um I don't have the emulator for the sharp, so I can't do it on the sharp right now. For those who just jump in and lost, the video will be back up maybe by in the morning. If you're seeing part of it alone, the rest will be up by the evening. I get real messages where people see them listen to the live and thing and then come back up. It's a right to come back up. All right, let me, let me go to the standard deviation mode. We go into statistics mode. Statistics. Three. Three. And we're using one, v or one variable setup. You know, all of these fancy things. See them fancy things there? We're not dealing with that. We just deal with number one. So just ignore them thing and press number one. Now you can press in all your X values. 
single data, right? Single, single data, remember? Okay, let's say we want to find the standard deviation of all these numbers, 23, 24, um, 50, 55, 96, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. Well, you type in the numbers, 23, enter, 24. You see what's happening there? It's like a table, you're going down. Enter, enter is equal, right? 50 equal, slow down for us in the back. 55, tells what's going on, what's going on. 55, well, they tell me specifically, if you're getting lost somewhere here, 96 equal, you have to do, do back over that sequence. All right, on. Let me say the calculator was in computation mode. You press mode. You go to statistics by pressing 3. Bam. Ignore all them thing. Press 1. Bam. And start to pay the numbers that you have. 23, because remember, I had to find the mean of them thing. Now, if you had group data, you just put the median of each group of the data or something like that, or you, you put the average of each group or whatever, whatever you need to do, whether it's histogram, tables, or you just need to put in one variable here, so for each, for each, for each set. So it's 23, 24, 50, 55, and 96, and obviously you can just keep going on every time you press equal, they'll, they size up and next one fail. If you're done, big man, just press, just press AC. It's there. It's stored. It's there. We press AC, right? Um, so now we want to do a fancy thing. Let's say we want to. Let's say we want to do um, standard deviation. I can't pull out the actual standard deviation question. No actual standard deviation question has come yet. Or like a little guinea pig straight maybe, like a little idea. So at least you know what to do. Okay. Um, so to pull it out, you need to press Shift. And look down here, you see matrices, vectors, statistics. Obviously, we want that stats, right? Complex numbers, basis, we want stats. So you press 1. And what we want is a variable. So we're going to press 4. But there are all sorts of stuff you can do here. You can, do some, you, know, you can click around on these things. You can play around with your calculator. Play around with it. Play around with it. How I reach there? I press Shift and 1. Okay, I'm pressing 1 again. The data that I stored before is still there. So now I'm pressing, pressing shift and one. Bam. For the new people, press like on the video. Share the video with some more people. Tell them you're learning how to, how to kill off a calculator here. Right? And the life. So I press shift and one. And I'm going to press four now because I want a variable. I press four. You see in N, you see in X bar. Everybody know X bar is mean. You see in SX, which is standard deviation. That is what we want. And you see in sigma X. Which one is the standard deviation again? Let me see what that standard deviation looking like. Oh yeah, one of them is the standard deviation. I think it's four. I can't remember for sure now. One could be the variance, one could be the standard deviation. I feel any four, yeah. I feel any four. But check it out in the calculator to make sure. So I'm gonna press I'm gonna press four. Bam. Four. And I'm just gonna press equal. Bam. Equal. Twenty-nine. Standard deviation is twenty-nine. Yeah, that's song incorrect. Standard deviation given to you. Just like that. Now everybody, we went through the entire standard deviation calculation and thing in that long eight hour video I do Friday night or whatever. Um, so you'll be able to see how to do standard deviation. Like you know there's parts of it where you do the sum of the mean, take away all the different values and everything. You could actually get the sum of the mean. You can get all of that on this. Shift, let's see what some other stuff you can get on that. Statistics, let's go back on variable. Let's look at x bar 2. Press equal. 49.6. That means that's the mean. So you could easily calculate the mean in your exam now. Easily. Just type up all the numbers in your statistics mode. Now it takes some practice. Eh? Looking simple, it takes some practice. Right? You type up all the numbers just to make sure you know where you can make sure you can come back out of the modes and things. It's the worst thing to be stuck in a mode. In a calculator, in an exam, and you don't know how to come back or the mode. Eh? Or maybe your Casio, um, Zelina, check and see if your Casio is the FX115 ES Plus, right? So, 
maybe it's a, a lower version. If you're not seeing it, it, you're probably selected bad. You're probably doing it good. Um, if you're on the admat chat, and Selena, I think you're on the admat chat. It is. All right, let me do it all over again. I'm, I'm going to do it all over again very quickly, especially for those who just come in, right? You don't need to study the calculator, girls. It's simple. All right, so I we was in we was in this mode one, so I'm going to press mode and go into statistics mode. Play around with your calculator as much as it's a lot of fun. If I could use an iPhone, you could use this calculator. I press one just now. That bring up this. I was talking, so I press mode and I press um three stats and then I press one. Because I want one variable coming down in a column here. Then I put in all the numbers I have in red on this side there. I put 23, I press equal after each number, I press equal 24. Equal 50. Equal 55. Equal 96. Equal again. When I feel like I'm done with them numbers there, and by the way, you could use these buttons to go back up and fix any mistakes you do and stuff like that. When I feel like I'm done with them numbers there, I can press on. It's stored. Every time I press equal, it gone in. It gone in. It did. So now I'm going to press shift. You're using shift to bring back up options. You'll see when you're reaching me. You see it again. You have to use shift and press 4. But in statistics, you press shift and press 1. Because that's, that'll bring up the stats option. And I'm going into 4 because that's where standard deviation is and mean is and thing. And I press 4. If I want the mean, I can just press 2 now. And then press equal. 49.6. So, if you get, you're still getting trouble with it, yes, send a video on the AdMats group and I'll check it out either later today or tomorrow, right? Um, 49.6 is the mean if I want to get other stuff, if I want to get the standard deviation, which is, which is like the biggie for people, the, the big stressor here. Press 4 and press SX, standard deviation. Press 4 now. That's not the standard deviation, that's the value I had from before, so I need to press equal now. Bam, 29.77. Oh, okay. Now you go into some other new stuff, other stuff. Let's go into, let's go into the actual matrices question. What's the matrices question? Let's, let's do that. Oh, first let me do, let me do. Um, so that's one, two. Let's do. I wanted to do a quadratic question just to show you all the... Okay, let's do the matrices. Let's do the matrices. Where are you matrices? Bim, 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 bim. Okay. I think we had this. We had this question here. Um, so where we have people from tonight, boy, you know, we had to do the country shout out. What countries we have inside the dance tonight? New people, don't forget to press like and subscribe if you haven't. This is not a long live. This live is going to take, this live nearly halfway done already. It's not a long live. You get through? Well then. Ding, bap. Um, I'm just saying that your calculator is really powerful and people... On the estimate, all the vibes you can pull off with this calculator. Soup. So, so what going on there, boy? What going on there? What going on there is that the calculator blocking the whole question. Right. So, they give us three matrices and they say, using Trinidad, Trinidad, Waterloo, Jamaica, India, Grenada, Grenada. Alright, 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 alright. So we have Jamaica. The usual, the usual culprits in the house here, Jamaica, Trinidad, Canada, Barbados. So will we pass, of course, with the pass, boy. Etam, Jamaica, everything. Yeah, man, people bringing out prayers and things out here for you. They must pass. Alright, so there you go. Um, negative 1, 2, da 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 Using a calculation, using a calculation to support your answer, explain whether matrix P is singular or non-singular matrix. 
at the end of the day, you're going to have to find AB. Uh, well, you know if it's non-singular, it's the determinant. Um, is it, if it's singular, the determinant is equal to zero. Everybody know the determinant is AD minus BC. If you don't know that by now, <laughs> right? Go and watch my videos and make your seats. Determinant is AD minus BC. Oh, you ain't seen it D, it have a D, it have a D, they had DET, right? Determinant is equal to AD minus BC. Watch out, this looking like a stick, man. Nah. Alright, focus, focus, focus. Alright, AD minus BC. So you just, you just, they will talk more matrix P. So you just, you know, multiply A by D, you're gonna get to 5 minus. Uh, you, you, you got non zero answer. So it means it's not, it, it's non singular. If it was singular, that would have to not be zero. Alright? Um, and then, they went on in the question to ask it to solve for A, A, B. Let me just make sure that's what they went on to ask it. Yeah, determine the values of A and B. In other words, I think it was something just now, just now, yeah, given that PQ is equal to R, they said P by Q is equal to R, and everybody know that's how this line up. That's how this line up the um, simultaneous equations where I stick. Are well, you seeing me? Let me know if I'm moving because I stick right now. If you see if if I'm moving there, just type Y in the chat for me. Yeah, because I see that, I see that. They get the volume, but I, but I stick. Alright, let me see if this could bam, 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 bam. This is the first time that ever happened, that's really cool. I mean, not cool, eh, because that's thick, but... <laughs> I don't think I need to need to see my face right now, but no, eh? I don't know. There's the million dollar face that bring the, the people to the max, eh? <laughs> Um, So what are you going to do, boy? What are you going to do, boy? Come in, boy? I feel you could probably, um, delete this. Well, let's just give me one second here. Delete that. Add it back. Um. Did you cut the device? Dim 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 No, I just stick bigger now. What a that thing. Um. Yeah, I'm back. Not the. Already much much going on now. Satan, not tonight, Satan. Not tonight. The match must go on. Video cut the device. Um, I like to watch my freeze mode there. Me, 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 is me alone, no, it's me, me, bass. I get crung up. Ollie, we not talking about that bass. I'm not right about now. You see that? Woo. That's why I didn't want to come live to you now. Eh. So, right, so what we do so far, we do standard deviation and we do basis. Right, so this first half of our standard deviation and basis are going to go off and come back on in the next one second and hopefully this will, um, this will be good.